Well, I'm Jabari Thomas. Check this out. So NASA just released some stunning photos from Mars. The panoramic images were taken uh, by Curiosity Mars rover as it went up a three-mile-high mountain. Check it out. So the rover, wow, Whoa. captured, it looks like uh, Nevada. Yeah, it does. <laughs> captured these black and white photos and then back down on Earth. And then an artist combined these photos with added color to create these beautiful images. So the images started as black and white, as you see. So the Curiosity rover landed in Mars back in 2012 oh. and is still out there exploring the planet. How cool is that? Is that? Wild. It looks like a movie set. So I got a chance many years ago to interview NASA's administrator, Charles uh, Major Charles Bolden. He was actually the first and only person, black guy, to run NASA. And I asked him, I was very curious. I was like, I've seen two movies, The Martian and Interstellar. Okay. Both of them use you know, NASA in them. And I was like, which one is most accurate? He laughed at me. And he said The Martian because they actually went to NASA to ask them they, to kind of help make the movie. They did their homework. Versus Interstellar is a little bit more creative, but yeah. I, I need to put The Martian on my list, too. I you have seen not? I have not seen it. Yeah, That's the one good. with Matt Damon, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I know Matt Damon's in it. <laughs> the poop but I, potato. <laughs> but I haven't seen the film. Yeah. Have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen a lot of space movies. I think they're really cool. Yeah. They're yeah. all very interesting. All you meteorologists are yeah. space nerds. Science nerds all around. <laughs> but that image, for something that was made in 2012, I mean, that's pretty good. I mean, yeah. think about iPhones in 2012. Yeah. <laughs> Quality wasn't that good. It takes a while cool. for those images to get back, too. Yeah. A little bit. So. Pretty crazy. It takes a while to get there.